Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get an untethered jailbreak on iOS 4.2.1 on your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 2nd, 3rd, and 4th generation, as well as your iPad. Now this does work for both Windows and Mac users, and the jailbreak is called Green Poison. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to this website right here. A link will be in the more info. It is greenpoison.com. The second O is actually a zero, and you can just uh, download it right there. And then once you have it downloaded, you're just going to open it up and uh, I'm actually going to take my iPhone here and show you that I am on uh, firmware 4.2.1 as you can see right there where it says version it is on 4.2.1 I do have it connected and it is right there so what you're gonna do is you're going to enter DFU mode and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now uh, you hold down the home and the power button for a total of uh, 10 seconds and uh, once that 10 seconds is up then you're going to let go of the power button and continue holding the home button and you're going to do that for approximately 20 seconds now uh, once that uh, is done you can let go and you can come back over here and hit jailbreak or if you're on windows then you can hit uh, prepare for jailbreak dfu and uh, then it'll just skip past it and go into the jailbreak mode now that's what's uh, happening right here uh, it is actually jailbreaking it and I do have a white screen now which is a good thing and it's continuing to jailbreak I'll just set it up closer here and now it is entering the scrolling text portion of it as you can see right there uh, so it does look like it's going along just fine right now I also just wanted to let you guys know that uh, I am actually on vacation right now, which is why the quality of this video isn't as good as uh, my normal videos. So uh, that's the reason why I'm just shooting it with my camcorder again. As you can see, there's the pool. I am on vacation. Uh, so that is why the quality isn't as good as it normally is. But now uh, it looks like it's pretty much done there. And it says it is complete on my computer. And again, this is an iPhone 4 because obviously I do have a camera right there and the slimmer form factor. So I'm just going to wait for it to finish. Uh, also, you guys can follow my Twitter and uh, just be sure to subscribe to me. And I do make daily videos. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't make a video yesterday because uh, obviously I am actually on vacation. So I uh, just want to let you guys know that. And uh, right now, Green Poison does have a couple bugs with it. Uh, it doesn't work 100% all the time. But again, it does work. As you can see right here, it is working. Uh, We'll see how long it takes to actually get past this uh, text screen though because again it does say complete on my computer right there. So we will just have to wait and see how long it will end up taking to get past that. I'm just going to go ahead and let it uh, continue here and uh, again we'll just see what happens. So if yours is actually taking as long as mine is, then you can probably just go ahead and hold down the home and power button to get it past the scrolling text screen. So that's what I'm actually doing right now. And then just wait for uh, the actual uh, Apple logo to pop back up and then you uh, should be good to go. We'll see what ends up happening. Uh, there the Apple logo is. So we'll just see what happens when it boots up.
and uh, I don't know, I guess if yours isn't doing anything like mine, you can try and run green poison again. Uh, so then just hit jailbreak and uh, I'm going to enter DFU mode here really quick. So again, home and power for a total of 10 seconds. And then what we're going to do is release the power button and continue holding the home button. And uh, we will uh, just wait for green poison to recognize it. And now it has. And uh, now it should just be jailbreaking it again. And we'll see if this time it will get it to boot back up. So uh, it actually looks like it's going along just fine this time. Uh, so you may just have to run red snow over it, uh, or actually green poison over it a second time. And uh, that actually brings me to my second point. This will work if you are already jailbroken with red snow. That is, if you already have a tethered jailbreak with red snow, it will actually uh, work. So there, as you can see, I get the animated boot logo there, which is really nice. It is the green poison boot logo. Uh, but anyway, back to my other point, uh, this actually does work if you have red snow, uh, a tethered jailbreak with red snow, but if you have an untethered jailbreak with red snow, uh, then it will not work, meaning you used your 4.2 beta 3 SHSH files to get an untethered jailbreak. If you want this green poison jailbreak, you're just going to have to restore, and then uh, you're just going to have to uh, actually do it again with uh, green poison. Now this is my actual like 20th time trying this, so uh, it is pretty buggy. I guess you can kind of uh, just keep trying and trying to get it to work like I did. Uh, it does work though, as you can see this is proof, and even in this video I had to run it a total of two times, one right after the other. So uh, yeah, that's just what it is I guess. Uh, it's still booting up. I'm just going to wait until it boots up. I heard that it actually does take a really long time to boot up, but uh, again, we shall see. Oh, there we go. It's doing something. The logo just started like flashing and stuff. So, uh, that was interesting. Now it just went back to the Apple logo. So I'm just going to let it continue going and uh, we'll, we'll just have to see what works. Okay, we're getting the pinwheel, so uh, we will see. Oh, it's making noise. Looks like it might work. Oh, and there we go, guys. Oh my gosh. It actually worked. That is unbelievable. I can't believe that that actually worked. This is, again, my tenth time trying it. So, uh, it does actually work now. That is awesome. So uh, I actually was already jailbroken with red snow, so I do have Cydia, but as you can see, that was an untethered boot, so that was really nice. Uh, if you guys actually do not get the standard loader app, once you uh, actually use green poison, then you can just run red snow over it, and then use red snow to get it. So you can use the two in uh, combination to get uh, Cydia and get an untethered jailbreak. So I just wanted to make this video letting you guys know that. Sorry it ended up being so long, but I can't edit it out because again, I am on vacation, but please remember to rate this video up and also let me know what you think in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. So this is ICU signing out. I will see you guys when I get back from vacation.